<laughs> I cannot believe how long it took me to defeat that Arch Griffin. About 50,000 uh, top of the lung curse words and 20,000 saves later. <laughs> the Arch Griffin is dead. What do we have to loot? Infuse Shard, Monster Claw, Griffin Feathers, Monster Tongue, Griffin Egg. And I didn't level. Oh my god. That wasn't the hardest fight Geralt's ever experienced. That was the hardest fight any Witcher ever has experienced. Nigh is the time of the sword and axe. None will fight this war in our stead. Nigh is the time of madness and disdain. We're back with a thoroughly exhausted Witcher. And it looks like a Witcher whose toxicity is so high he's about to die. So let's take care of that with some white honey, right? That wipes the toxicity slate clean. And superior white honey. So if I only had regular white honey, would it only reduce some of Geralt's effects right now? Um, let's see if that took... Yeah, that's a little better. We don't have a yellowish, green, sickly looking vitality bar. And uh, more importantly, we don't have a sickly looking witcher. Okay. Um, so yeah, that... Uh, <laughs> I keep... I feel like I keep saying this each uh, hard fight, but that arch griffin was the toughest fight yet i think it's pretty obvious that um you know uh we haven't fought a monster with two scary red question marks above it and the um we have fought monsters with the the scary um red skull over them, but um, yeah, would you look at that? Some crowns and some florins, very nice. Because when you're coming up to fight the arch griffin, you want to stash your coins. So the never mind. But you know that's uh, just the way Geralt's world is. You check those stumps, receive rewards. That's how it goes. Arnaria, yeah. Um, so this episode. This, well, let me, uh, first, we have a nest to check out here, and yet if you don't think I'm harvesting what's on this, uh, uh, arch griffin perch here, you are sadly mistaken. So, I'm gonna go, Genadia petals, nice, I'm gonna go to the, uh, nest here and figure out, um, well, find out if there's anything in the nest. Hmm. 12th floor, what the hell? Oh, that's a, I thought that was a plant with 12 floors in it. It's a corpse. Yeah, a lot of people uh, brought their money up with them to fight the Arch Griffin, and we've got um, got a quest thingy in there. Uh, among the corpses, what do we have? Looks like a deer that's been horribly skinned, a pig, and a Skellige warrior and some other creature on the other side of him, another pig. A frustrated warrior's notes, skullhead key, and an apple. Just my plowing luck. I buy myself a horse, turns out to be lame. I take a wench for a wife, turns out she's a nasty bitch. I build a house, not a, years go not a year goes by, and lightning strikes. Burns the whole thing down. And the one time, one time, fortune smiles on me and I return from a raid with some prime loot, a griffin flies down and makes its nest right on the summit of the mountain. Right where I hid the treasure. Guess I should be happy it's not a gold fucking dragon for fuck's sake. 
But so be it. Not the first wind to blow in my eyes. I'll chase it off, even if I die trying. Yeah. Unlucky's treasure. That guy's got about the same luck in Geralt's world as I do in the real world. If I was a warrior in Geralt's world... Oh, okay. I thought these were plants. Again, I thought these corpses were plants. Wolf hide. Leather straps. And yeah, there you go. I got right to the chest. Nice. Dashbog runestone. Lesser glyph of Axie. Quest completed. Unlucky's treasure. Cotton, Elemental Essence, Ard Skellig Aketon, Verdon Archer's Gambeson. Okay. Um, and that is a steep slope down. We're not going that way. Still have some more uh, stuff to uh, harvest up on this peak. Do we not? I thought it was around here somewhere. There it is. Blow ball. Whatever you do, high altitudes, don't have any Belize fruit for me. Blowball. Arenaria. Okay. And what do we have here? White myrtle petals. Honeysuckle. Okay, so now I decide where we're going next. What do we what do we get to see over here? What's the view from that's very interesting. So the Arch Griffin had a view. That's that's Kertrolda over there, right? What? Um, and that's the yeah. That's where I fought the to the left there. That um, castle-looking thing with the tower is where I fought the Elementa and the two gargoyles, right? And below that is where I got frustrated trying to uh, get into a catacomb that. Uh, wasn't available to me. Okay, yeah, that's that's the split in uh, in the rocky coastline there that uh, Caratrolda has kind of uh, sprung up uh, in. All right, yeah, um, hardest fight ever over, and now we're, well, now we go. I guess we go. Um, Go over here and collect what we didn't collect. And then we we head down to this undiscovered location, so we've got some sailing to do, right? And um, I guess it'll be, we'll, we'll go check out our favorite tower again. Um, for what reason, I'm not entirely sure, but we'll do it. Uh, which way? Do I, I want to go this way, don't I? Don't want to go down that way. I think... This is oh you know what I should, I have to meditate. Tell you what, we'll go see our buddy um what's his name? <laughs> uh, I've totally forgotten his name. Go see our buddy down here. We'll meditate next to his little uh shack. We'll let we'll tell him that the you know, he doesn't seem to be terribly concerned that an arch griffin was like about two hundred feet over his head, does he? Just seems to not have a care in the world, even though the corpses were piling up up there. Um, all right, so let's, what's his, what's his name again? Ivar, right, I knew that. I was just testing all three of you in my audience. Okay, meditation, and uh, three hours should do it, right? It's now 6 p.m. in Geralt's world. And he's looking a whole lot better inventory-wise, right? He's got all of his potions and bombs back and such. Yep, and decoctions and everything. Okay, very good. And uh, he needs to eat something because his vitality is pathetic. Some water and some bread. And that'll get us started. Probably have to eat again, though. Okay. See you, Ivar. I may be back with the books you're looking for. I'm not real sure. We're sailing once again, Geralt, even though uh, most, if not all, of the um, seabound 
undiscovered location are taken care of. And I think is that the island right over there? Let's let's make sure we we're charting the right course here. Um, yeah, we're pretty much uh, headed towards it. We just got uh, a little bit of a course correction there. There we go. And yeah, so I um, I mentioned in a comment either last episode or the episode before that I wasn't terribly happy with my condenser mic audio. Little immersion breaking here. I apologize. I've been I've been doing that quite a lot lately, and uh, I apologize for everybody who's uh, just trying to get into the um, wonderful surroundings in Skellige. But um, it's worth noting that um, I bought a bunch of stuff to hook my because uh, basically the condenser mic is very sensitive and um, it picks up everything every clunk in my room every noise outside so i bought a bunch of stuff to go back to my um ps4 headset mic which should naturally hook into the dualshock controller and so i bought some stuff to hook it into my pc and when i Hooked it up to my PC, it had a horrible, horrible hiss. It had nothing to do with ambient room noise. It just had to, for whatever reason, when you detach that headset mic from the DualShock, it does not like it. So um, that didn't work out so well. So I actually had to physically rearrange my entertainment center to um, get the PS4 and its jet turbine fan uh, away from my condenser mic. So I'm back to the condenser mic with a <laughs> a reconfigured uh, home entertainment system and PC and PS4. And am I at all still heading in the right direction? So yeah, I'm, I'm back to the condenser mic, condenser mic and I'm hoping that um, it's, uh, you know, a little, little more reasonable now, um, ambient uh, room noise wise. And I'll have nicer mic audio. I'm very happy with my recording set setup right now, um, and the audio, um, except for the mic audio. So we'll see how this episode goes with the mic audio, and if I'm happy with it, and uh, I'll make more moves if necessary from there after I find out you know, how I feel about it. All right, Carol. Um, some, oh, look at that. Our siren friends. Should, okay, trying to get a piece of you before you even get a chance to dive. Now, somewhere around here, all right, you're going to have a friend in an echidna. Okay, one less echidna. Are there any more? Somewhere around here, one would expect there is um treasure that I didn't pick up. Is it in the boat? Is that where I'm going to find it? Uh, and uh, I think I feel like I checked the boat and came up empty last time. Let's surface here, Geralt. Um, where the heck? Because I went up on the up above, I went up on the ledge, and I assumed that that was the guarded treasure. Um, am I just not going to find this loot? I should probably take Killer Whale here, shouldn't I? Got all kinds of something or other swimming around in the distance lighting up Geralt's witcher senses where the heck all right let's take um let's take killer well Fast swim over here, closer 
to the prow of the uh, shipwreck. And let's get Witcher senses going. Maybe it's like right... I feel like when I take Killer Whale it doesn't do anything. <laughs> I think it's... I, I gotta upgrade it basically. That's what I gotta do. Alright, I don't see anything here, Geralt. I mean, we can try going way down into the abyss here and hope we don't drown. But it just... It doesn't look good for this undiscovered location, does it? So how does the... Um, I mean, it's... How does the treasure on a ship sink all the way down here when the ship's up on the uh, ledge well above this uh, these lower depths here. I guess that's the question. And is it just... Is it like up on land and I just didn't see it? And how does it get up on land from the sunken ship? All these questions I need to know answers to. Should I... What if I... Oh, you know what? It may be... Maybe I can get inside the hull of the ship here and get to it. it aha! There we go. Gosh, I'm such a silly, silly witcher. I should have tried that right from the beginning. Okay, Lesser Dash 5 Runestone, Sap, Captain's Boots, Dimeridium Ingots times 2. Carol, can you surface or I think you're hung up on the uh, boat still? Sunken ship. Okay, there you go. Now we found it. Don't you feel so much better about that, Geralt? I know I do. And we're gonna get around that echidna corpse without crashing in the boat, right? Okay, so um, let's see. Uh, how do we want to do this? Oops, I take the helm, kind of see the icon, I always forget that. Um, if we go a little bit this way, and slowly go forward, and we bounced off her head. We bounced off her thick skull, Carol. Alright, so now um, we, we're kind of around the, the edge of Kertrolda, and I, think, I actually think I see the tower off in the hazy distance. Um, oh, that's interesting. Did I? Is that a undiscovered location? And I... And we've got critters taking an interest in us. Is that an old undiscovered location dead ahead? Yes, it is, I think. It's that one there. Um, and am I... Whoops, I did that thing again. Get back to the world map. I'm sort of heading in the right direction. Sort of. I need to go a little bit to the right. Once I get around that boat, I'm going to go a little bit to the right there. And hopefully we're not going to get harassed by sirens. We are going to get harassed by sirens. They're on to us. Okay, so... Disconnect Geralt off the boat. And oh, I think they like you, Geralt. They really like you. They've taken a liking to this witcher. Where? Okay. Where are they? There they are. Are you in the water? Yes, you're in the water and you're closer. One down. How do you like that? See? Getting to know a witcher is, uh, you know, you can take a liking to him, but it doesn't mean he's going to take a liking to you. And you all like to die right next to my boat, don't you? sort of uh, their revenge and death. Well, you may have killed me, but I'm going to kill your boat. That's how I kind of interpret that. All right, so we're going to get around this boat. And there's a whale tail there. And now I'm going to be pointed in the right direction, I think. little bit of a course correction still. I'll tell you what, we're going to go around 
that island and then we'll make a, a course correction and actually what I'm going to do right now is save the game let's get this boat moving here Geralt and you want to go around that island dead ahead I think if it wasn't for the sail I could probably actually see the um, tower I think that's it off in the distance I think we're kind of pointed right at it, and the um, undiscovered location is a little to the left of it, is it not? Got some uh, random sirens or some kind of critters appearing on my mini map. This is like old times, Geralt. You know, back when you were doing 90,000 uh, undiscovered locations on the stormy Skellige Seas. And you do have some stuff to sell, so once we get to this last one, I suppose I need to do a round with the local armorers and blacksmiths to get rid of all this junk. It's not really junk, is it? Uh, we've been picking up some interesting stuff, haven't we? But since you're selling it, we'll just call it junk. Since you're not keeping it, unless you keep it, it's... It's junk. Interesting junk. And that was, um, I'm looking at that structure to the left there. That was that weird, um, Cthulhu, uh, cult island, was it not? Should I have done, I should have done the, uh, damn... Uh, fast travel post, shouldn't I have? That whale didn't freeze up. That was interesting. Uh, the thing about doing the fast travel post, though, by the, you know, I, after I hit that uh, undiscovered location with the hidden loot, I would have had to have, I could probably do a fast travel post now, couldn't I? It's, it's kind of six in the one, a half dozen in the other. It's, um, by the time I get to a fast travel post and fast travel, it's, just, it's going to be as quick just to uh, sail there, is it not? Now, can I see? Yeah, so there's the, there's the tower sticking up more obviously. Is that another whale, or was that Geralt hitting me, uh, Kind of weird wave. That's the whales we know. The ones that freeze there. I think that whale's racing Geralt. I think it's uh it's playing with Geralt. Geralt's like a toy for it. He is about toy sized for a blue whale. Alright, getting back to Unvik here. Some of Geralt's greatest adventures in Skellige happened on this island. Still don't know the story behind the mysterious tower. I wonder if uh, he'll ever come across something, because I've pretty much... I mean, this is the last undiscovered location. I've checked a lot of spots in Skellige that uh, weren't undiscovered locations. And now there's two subterranean, it seems, undiscovered locations that it appears I'll never get to. Um, but I wonder... Um, so what I'm saying is, is there, there doesn't seem to be a clue about this tower anywhere in Skellige. I wonder if I'm going to find a clue in, like, Velen or Novigrad... I really, I really don't want to uh, stop playing this game before I find out about this tower. I have to know. Okay, is that? We've got a shipwreck right to our left, or yeah, exactly right there. 
Is that going to be anything we should check out? Or should I just not worry about it? Doesn't look like it's got any kind of loot or anything on it. So we will leave it be. And the undiscovered location should be coming up in my mini-map here any second. Somewhere in this area. Skellige Isles, Unvic. Spooky mist. Off to the right there. Is that marking my undiscovered location? Um, yes, sort of yes, sort of no. Hidden treasure. Okay, Carol, I think. We can disembark and see what we've got here. We've got quest fireflies on a corpse. Okay, so that usually means there's a chest somewhere nearby, right? Traveler's Notes. I swear not in my whole life have I ever seen such waves. 10, 12, 14 feet and the wind. Why it shook the mast and battered the sails so they were near about to fly off. Rocks everywhere, currents treacherous. Helmsman said we'd pull through, that we'd seen worse and come out all right. Me, I'm not so sure. The storm don't come soon. This tub's going to break in two. Okay, precious hall. Uh, there's nothing about a precious hall in that note, but let's... um. Let's make it, should be a treasure hunt? Yeah, there you go. Find the sunken cargo using your winter senses. Okay. Seems to be off in the direction we came. How far up in the direction we came? Do I need to get in the boat is what I'm asking. No, I don't think I do. Let's, uh, I know the water's cold, Geralt, but let's fast swim over there. Uh-oh. Sirens. That's the other reason we didn't need to get in the boat. Because you knew they were going to pester us. Okay, so let's um, get the crossbow out, Geralt. Let's start sending some of them to the great siren beyond. Alright, is there another? I thought there were more of them, but I might have been picking that up. Okay. So, now, uh, there it is. Looks like it. Anyway. Coal, black pearl dust, hunting boots, Earl of Thrad, master item, dimeridium ore times two, and florins. Alright, Geralt. That was the final undiscovered location that you can get to. Oops, what just flashed yellow beneath us? Not my witcher senses uh, playing games with us. In Skellige, so um, I suppose it's uh, it's a cause for celebration, but you still have some witcher work to do. All right, um, can we get up to... Can we get over this ice, can I? Can I get a girl jump up on the girl's not gonna jump up on this ice? Seriously? Uh. Okay, this isn't working now. Gerald's caught. Not good. <laughs> oh, dear. This is not how I uh, thought I'd celebrate by drowning uh, in the icy cold seas of uh, Unvik. So we gotta get at the shoreline somehow here, Geralt. Okay. Um, now, can I get up 
to... Can I use this to get up there? Will it... No, 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 no. Don't want to snowboard back into the... No, 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 Geralt. No, you like your snowboarding. Yeah. <laughs> Let's see if I can get you to... No, you just don't want to do that, do you? You don't want to... There we go. I don't know if this is going to happen. Um, uh, you just don't want to jump there. And if you did, you could get up to there. And then, come on, come on, come on, jump, jump. <laughs> Maybe it's over here. Maybe that's our best bet, Carol. Ah. I don't want this. It's this. No, 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 no. Don't do it. Don't do it. This is farther away from the path. Yeah, no, you're not going to go that way, and you're dead. <sighs> Alright, here we are again, somewhere. <laughs> There's no way up this way, huh? This almost looks like a route up. Can I try this already? Okay, that's nice. That kind of helps us. No, see, this is just too... Okay, go. Let's, um... Let's bite the bullet here and go all the way around. And how do we do it? How do we get up there? I'm pretty sure we got up there from... Not too far away from here. Um, what is over there? Found, like, some kind of ravine that we went up. This it over here. I think it was this one here. Let's um, get the Witcher senses going here. It's almost like a, an iridescence to the. Uh, wow. That's different. Is that the moon? Yeah, the moon light is causing that effect. That's pretty cool. This is interesting. A waterfall. Uh, is it on the other side of the waterfall? No. Okay. Well, that was worth it. There's always a cave under the waterfall. What the heck happened with this waterfall? This waterfall's broken. I mean, Richard Carroll's really cold and sick of getting uh, wet under that waterfall. All right, where were the ledges that I could climb up? Are they around, are they around the corner here? There they are. All right, well, we tried the shortcut, Geralt. Had to take the long way. And here it is. We've got to the trail. Is that lootable? Must have already gotten that in the dim, dark past, huh? Crow's eye. Cortinarius. And the best travel post? Why do I have. Yeah, okay, there you go. Am I headed the wrong way? Um, no, I'm not. It's just that, that that was that ravine. Man, that takes you far. I was probably right there underneath it and couldn't get to the trail, but anyway. The loot in the 
this little town has refreshed. Oh, that's right. It's all just ashes. I'm going to uh, I'm going to ignore it because it's going to be all ashes. Stuff looks familiar and yet it really doesn't. It's been long enough to where I've kind of forgotten. Boy, that is a cool shot, is it not? In fact, I'm going to do a little tourism here. I'll be right back. Just wanted to uh, turn the HUD off for a second so I could get a cool look at that uh, tower with the moon behind it. Now the moon is really hidden itself behind it. Okay. Tell you what, let's approach the tower without the heads up display. If we can find our way to do that. What the heck is this? Is this the actual trail? Yeah, I guess it is. Don't fall off the trail, Geralt. That would be bad. And last time we were here, we tried to get the harpies to get aggressive, and they just didn't want to, right? It's almost like this is the Tower of the Crescent Moon. And it's got a crescent moon built into its structure. Or because it has a crescent moon built into its structure. I'm not entirely sure why I'm going to this tower again. It's almost like uh, I know I'm not going to get in, um, yet I still feel the need to try. There were, there was a, oh, okay. So I guess we've gotten the attention of the harpies. Okay, so uh, Ard, at least one harpy, two harpies. suppose I could have, uh, do you not have, okay, your friend has a corpse to loot, don't fall off the cliff in the attempt, Geralt, please, raw meat, that's it, what kind of, um, you don't have anything to loot, huh, that's unfortunate, you look like, you just look like different harpies, what kind of harpies were you, yeah, um, I could have, use the uh, fast travel post back at the village. For some reason I felt the need to come here to use this fast travel post and I think by the scenery you see why. Okay. Sort of way, Geralt. Were there things to climb that I didn't try to climb last time to get into the tower? Yeah, no, it doesn't look like it. And that's a pretty cool picture there, too. Got the moon in the archway there. Geralt lit up by the moon with the uh, broken archway in the background. That is a bright moon, is it not? And the view from the tower. It's really quite an impressive structure. It um, seems somewhat beyond, not so much the ability of Skelligers to make, but their interest. Would they want to make such an ornate structure? Oh, it just doesn't seem like their style, I guess, is what I'm getting at. Um, it's, it seems elven. It seems... 
Seems like it's something the elves built, but um, I really have no proof of that, obviously. Alright, anyway, let me get my heads up display working again. Out of Taurus mode here and back to you're not getting into the tower mode. No matter how hard you try, there's like a ledge up there. It's kind of and you know it's it's got a lot of open openness to its upper floors, so to speak. Um, yeah, no, you're not you're not getting up there. Broken. I thought maybe you could climb up the broken arches or something. All right. Well, once again, we're thwarted by the um, mysterious tower on Unbic. And uh, yeah, um, I'm gonna fast travel and visit with some armorers and blacksmiths. You know what I haven't done with this armorer? He had enough uh, money to buy all my stuff. I don't think I've played Gwent with him, have I? Let's remedy Wouldn't that. mind a few rounds of cards. I don't remember playing Gwent with him. Um, in fact, I think I... Avoided playing Gwent with him because I thought maybe he would be part of the Gwent quest. So there's that. Kid winning Siege Expert, Dandelion, Prince Stennis, Siege, Yennefer, more Siege. Okay, not too bad. Do I want to... Do I want to swap out Dandelion? I don't have too much to augment on the um, close combat row. Let's swap him out. There we go. I think we're good there. Okay, so let's uh, start the game. My turn. Gee, I wonder what I'm going to do first. Got Scorch. <laughs> what? Uh, he's got a monster deck. Why does... If he's got... Oh no, he's got Northern Realms. I'm trying to figure out how he had a Fault Test card as a monster deck. I saw the red crown next to Fault Test and I assumed it was red monster, but... Um, okay, that's kind of weird. We've got... Um, we're going to have a very similar deck, aren't we? <laughs> I <laughs> this is madness, I tell you. We're just gonna keep exchanging spies here, and nobody's gonna get anywhere. Get empty out both of our uh, decks. Another spot. You've got to be kidding me. Well, I've got a um, a medic to pull one of those spies out. So, do I want to? Do I want to do anything? We both got thirteen cards. Um. If I Scorch, I Scorch uh, Stannis, which would actually be interesting because I think he... Does Scorch not allow him to go into the discard pile? Like, does he really get Scorched is what I'm asking. Um, I think I'm going to pass. Yes, he did. It was kind of lame of me to just give him the round because he's going to get another card. It's his turn. Alright, he's serious about winning this one. I guess I have to be serious too. Oops, not what I wanted to do. I wanted to look at my discard here. Alright, so we're going to give him... Taller? Was that his name? Taylor? Taylor? Which 
is a pretty good spy card, by the way. I hope I win that from him. Oh, speaking of good spy cards. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> so far, we've put down nothing but spies. I think we're pretty much at that point. It's the Battle of the Spies. And a decoy. <laughs> Madness, I tell you. Alright, now, do I... See, if I Scorch, it may give him an opportunity to pull her out again. But it is a good time to Scorch, is it not? Let's, uh, let's decoy Siggy, Dijkstra. I'm going to run out of deck cards here. Uh... Alright, now is a good time to Scorch, I think. Well... Let's hold off a second here. Let's put down Dijkstra. Wow. Madness, I tell you. Okay, so he's he's definitely going all out up there. <laughs> okay, so I have to win this round. Um, I want to use Scorch. So I'm going to put down all of my special cards. Am I not? He's up to 54. I've got a lot of catching up to do. Do I not? He's going to pass here, isn't he? No, he's not. He's piling it on. I want him to uh, put down another 8 siege card. No, he keeps putting down the 6s. Okay. Wow, he's got a lot of, uh, he's got a lot of siege. He's got a good deck. Okay, he's still not giving up. Let's scorch his 16 there. Get him back down into, uh... He has passed. Now, how do I want to... I am... What am I? I am 27 points behind. So, if I put you guys down, that's like overkill. If I put you down plus the... Um, hmm, this is tough. Okay, so I put you down, you go to... 16, I put that one down, you go to, you all go to 16, and, um, yeah, that's way overkill. I'd like to save you for the next round. So, how do I go about that? Um, I need 27, if I put you two down, and then Commander's Horn, but I wanted to save Commander's Horn... Oh, crap. How do I go about this? This is... that You're 24 if I put all of you down. And then... That would give me 27 and we'd tie, but that doesn't help me. No, it would, if I put all of them down in the Kid Winning Siege Expert, that would give me 28. That's an interesting approach to things, but... Then we're even card-wise. Damn it. Um... 16 and 12, that's 28, so let's do that. Let's go you, you, plus Commander's Horn, right? All right, there you go. Just eked it out by one. I have one more card than him, and I'm going to get another card. A Medic would be nice, so I can pull another Spy out. Did not get a medic. Okay. Get another Crimford Reaver. Alright, it's my turn. Alright, so we are conscious of Scorch, are we not? Let's put down the Kidwing Siege Expert. You know he has Scorch. You just know he does. Okay, we'll put down the Stripes Commando. Alright, so now he's kind of given me an opening, Scorch-wise. I haven't 
seen that Kid Wayne Siege expert card before. That's very interesting. Okay, so it's still safe scorch wise. Let's put down one of these. Sheldon Skaggs. Um, I'm a little less afraid of his deck now. If he's already going to Sheldon. Okay. It's clear it weather already. Not a good sign for him. Okay, let's put down another blue stripes commando and we will still be below scorch level. Alright, he's done. Let's rub it in. Crushed him in that final round. <laughs> He's taking it personal, pushing Geralt around. Plague Maiden! Why are we. Seemed like everybody was drawing their sword for a minute there. Okay, so now I would like to play Gwent with you, but you're doing that thing. So let me uh, save the game and we will be right back. Okay, I don't think I have anything to sell you, so we'll get right to the Interested Gwent. Interested in a weapon? There's a tale behind every item I've got. Wouldn't mind a few rounds of Gwent. If I win, don't get all personal and start pushing me. I don't take it personal. You have a square oh. tail deck, okay. Commander's Horn. The Strikes Commando. Now I get the Medic. Alright, no. No. Uh, spy. Let's see if we can remedy that. Got a decoy. That's good. Um, hmm. yeah, we need... We do need a Spy. Comfort Reavers are pretty good, though. Um, what is Scoyatel's perk again? Yeah, but they're down. Do they? Is it just that they? No, Nilfgaard. Nilfgaard is the tie. Monsters is the holdover. They get to go first. I think that's their perk. Um, should I swap out Commander's Horn? But Commander's Horn would work nice with these two. Um, hmm. I don't have any clear. Well, I'm a little worried about this deal. I'm a little worried. Almost tempted to swap her out. Try to get a spy. Decoy's good with her. Um, let's swap out one of our. Uh, we we got another special card. Okay. <laughs> Dandelion already. Okay, very good. I'm gonna let you waste that card. I'm going to pass. You have that card. That's not good news for me, is it? Because I can't uh, medic it out of the discard pile. Anyway, your turn again. That guy's going to pull out more cards, is it not? Okay, uh, 15. Um, you guys are going to go up to 20. I don't have a clear weather card. I think I'd better stick with my special cards. You've got some special cards as well. Is that, is that not like a Scorch or something, that card? What does that card do? Scorch Close Combat. Okay, yeah, that was strange. I don't know why you played that card, but you did. Vander Horn. All right, we're playing for keeps here.
Are you going to pass? No, you're not. A medic pulling out dandelion. Okay, you can't... You can... How come your commander's horn doubled? Oh no, just dandelion went up. Okay, got it. He didn't... Yeah, that was kind of a, a bit of a waste there, wasn't it? All right, um, if I do that, it doesn't do me much good. Um, hmm, this is unfortunate. I have to play the Grinford Reavers. Yes, he passed. And uh, I'm going to play one more card, and then I'm going to get a card, and it's all going to be good. I'm going to be able to pull them out. Which is nice, because I've got the Medic and the Decoy. So, what I need is like a clear weather or something, in case he thwarts that whole plan. Hey, look at that. Ask and thou shalt receive. <laughs> the Gwent gods were listening to me for once. Okay, so it is my turn, right? And we are ever mindful of Scorch, are we not? So, um, do we get right to it? I guess we get... Tell you what, let's do this first. Okay, he's got a medic as well. Pull that card out, got it. Okay. Another medic. Nothing to pull out of the deck for him. Let's um, decoy our medic. <laughs> Commander's horn on two zero cards. That's unfortunate for you, my friend. Don't have a scorch, please. Because that'll be unfortunate for me. Ah, there you go. Now, you've, now your Commander Sorn has kicked in, has it not? Okay, so you've got one more card. If I go Commander's Horn, you're going to knock... Hmm. Just if you have a Scorch, you're going to knock that card off and your card off. Um, well, let's... Uh, Let's go for it. Yep, no commander sword. There you go. Far be it for me to not rub it in. And there we go. They're not, uh, they didn't have terrible decks. They were, they were tough opponents. And he's pushing me around as well. Endriga. Okay, two monster cards that I don't know that I really needed. Alright, so finally played Gwent with those guys. Um, do I have people to visit? Is Croc going to be the only one here? Should, shouldn't Saris be here? Actually, shouldn't Yalmar be here as well? And where would I the find them? Um, would they be up here? Never. No, these are all like barracks and stuff, aren't they? No, there's Saris. Interesting. I found her. Hello, Saris. I just barged into your queen chambers. Your Royal Majesty. Would you spare a moment? Come on, Geralt. I'm the same lass I was, save for the title. A lot of things changed. How's it feel to rule? Jarl's giving you any trouble? They're all very understanding. They seem to believe in me. Besides Lugos, of course. Tried talking to him? Could still win him over. I don't know about that. He's more mule-headed than my father, but I'll try, of course. Sad when someone like Bran dies. Everyone says he was a good king. 
It's not fitting to speak elsewise about the dead. Mean you don't agree? Bran spent his life at sea. And while he was away, old feuds flared, devouring the Isles from the inside. Folk grew furious, came when there was no one to mediate, resolve quarrels. But then Bran would return with loot, throw a feast, let the mead flow in rivers, and everyone loved him again. Well, I think you should let the mead flow in rivers if you're going to rule in Skellige. So don't, um, don't throw away that lesson, Saris. Anyway, this is our final chat. I think I'm done in Skellige, Saris. So, for now, I'll be back soon. Well, not soon, but I'll be back sometime. Farewell. Where's your brother? Ah, Geralt! How are things? Got another voyage in mind? Of course. Ice Giant was just the beginning. Besides, I got all kinds of horse sons already saying he wasn't that big. What about the folk of Undvik? <laughs> you and your men were gonna help them return to their isle and rebuild Urskar. Ceres will take care of that. Yeah, see, if you didn't get the throne, you can pass all those things off onto your sister. You and Ciri grew up together? You and... is that a typo for Ceres? It could... Could be Siri. You and Siri, as I remember, you two grew up together, at least for a while. Aye, spent half her childhood in the Isles. Always at my heels she was, scrawny wee thing. But her leaps on ice skates, why none of us could rival them. Tried to outdo her once, smashed me mouth on a rock. And then you went to Krach and announced you'd agreed to wed. You hear of that? Aye, we had twelve winters on us, both. Any thought of continuing that romance? Me da whipped it out of me head. <laughs> Wonder what it'd be like to see her now. So does Geralt, oddly enough. All right, Yalmar. Um, until I return to Skellige. Farewell, Ancrate. And now we go see your father. If he's in his chambers, that is. Later, you know, get splashed. Ugh. Get back with Nary uh, Scratch. Late. You better not. Don't. You ain't from your guard, I guess. These continental dandies come a strutting, then we can drag their corpses. <laughs> Yeah, I do sort of just charge into uh, royal chambers. I do have very little respect in, in that respect. Wanted to talk. Your daughter. First woman to rule Skellige. She'll be a good queen. Knows what she wants. Yeah. So what does she want? To unite all of Skellige's clans. A difficult task. No one has ever managed it. But Ceres is stubborn. Thinking long term then. Think she'll succeed? She's got a powerful ally. In me. The massacre during the feast. Know anything new? Thanks to you and Ceres. We know who's responsible. It's enough for me. Not gonna try to capture the Berserkers? They were but tools, Wolf. I'd rather sever the hand that wields the sword than merely break steel. What's new in Skellige? Of late, look seaward and you'll see their son on a sail, staring right back. We've yet to capture any of their crew, but only a fool wouldn't know they're planning something. All right, Croc, that's uh, a final farewell to you until I return to Skellige. See ya, Croc. Just want to take in the royal chambers one last time. 
And I'm going to save the game real quick. Okay, I think we need to go see the innkeep and sell him uh, some of the furs and such that we're carrying. So let's head down. What time? It's 8 a.m. He'll be... He's up all night anyway, so... Every time I go to Sam, he's he's ready to do business. Did I ever play Gwent with him? I don't think I ever played Gwent with him. I thought maybe he would be an opponent. Uh, let's take the uh, best rather close here. I thought he would be an opponent in one of the quests as well, I believe. Do I need to go to my staff? Don't eat so much. I don't think I do. Alright, let's see if you're gonna lighten up my inventory inventory for me, Jonas. What smells so delicious? Carol just wanted to get a whiff of the roasting pig one last time. Not carrying too much hide wise and uh, fur wise, but enough to uh, reduce my inventory carry weight a little bit. The heck is this drawing of a crib? Oh, yeah, I remember that. That was back in Novigrad. Okay. Is there anything I need to buy from him? Um. I should probably, let's buy all of this stuff just in case I need more white gull for crafting. And I should check to see if there's anything to craft. Gave him an awful lot of money there. Is there anything I can sell to him to get some of that money back? Not really. Some food and drink, I suppose. I mean, I could, tell you what, let's, uh, Let's get rid of the extra alcohol. There's not much to get rid of, but uh, let me do that at least. Didn't get much back from him doing that, but got a little bit back. And let's play Gwent. Actually kind of in the mood for cards. Care for a round of Gwent? I'm always in the mood for Gwent. Who isn't? Interested to see what deck Jonas is going to use. Monster deck. Okay. Alright, good start when I get that card. Medic. Two medics, actually. Um, do we need... Let's um, shuffle out. <laughs> Try that one more time. Got Scorch. Nice. My turn. Okay. And we will give him this round. about this one is he not wow very serious okay i don't think i'm gonna have any other opportunity to use scorch so let's let him have it still pretty serious about things isn't he okay let's get our special cards down past. All right. So I put these three down and I won the round, right? There's not much else to it. 
Seems a shame to put down special cards when he's not going to be attacking me in any way. If I put these guys... Actually, if I put... If I put you down, then we go to 30. Do we not? So let's do it that way. Okay, there we go. And I still have my special cards. Palace, nice. All right, so special cards it is. In Loretth. I suppose at some point Geralt's going to meet him in the game, is he not? And that just on a Gwent uh, board. Horn for close combat. Got it. Um, how do I want to play this? We've got this. It's Scorch safe to put this one down. <laughs> Impenetrable fog. All right. So we're going to need that clear weather because I have to pull out. Um, need to pull out uh, the two Crinford Reavers. Well, technically I won already, but um, we're going to rub it in. I don't know how wise it is to uh, say farewell to everybody by crushing them in Gwent, but Dennis Kramer. That's interesting, and that is a Northern Realms card, is it not? Dennis Kramer, where does he get put um, on this side? Does he not? Okay, maybe he isn't a Northern Realms card, or maybe he doesn't get put on this side. Where the heck is he? Okay, maybe he's not Northern Realms. Maybe he's Scoyatel or so. Okay, he's Scoyatel, I bet. Yeah, there he is, Dennis Grammar. Okay. I, ah, I think I'm going colorblind. I thought it was a blue um, dagger that I saw on the icon there. All right, so um, that's it with Jonas, I believe. We're going to hit the uh, herbalist over here, and Geralt's going to sell his last bit of harvested um, Skellige flowers and such, petals and fruit. Would you like to buy something from Mustache? Now I know I've played quite Maybe. a few before. Let so. me see what you got. And do you have any police fruit? You do not. Doesn't look like it actually. I... Scanning over your goods. Okay, let me uh, relieve you of some of that coin. Okay, he is down to one crown, and I am down to one Belize fruit. So, farewell. So long. 
and we are going to head up into this mountain. And we're going to find some Belize fruit, right? It's not looking good for Belize fruit. I would have... Wait a second. Nope, on fiber. I would have thought that I would have come across it by now. Was it a little farther down this mountain side? And of course, no farewell to Skellige would be complete without another battle with um, wolves. Try to avoid that, but chances are we're going to have to tangle with them. Hop Umbles, I thought that was it. I thought that was a Belize fruit plant. For a second there. Spring grape. I vaguely remember it being somewhere, a patch of Belize fruit being somewhere around here. Hmm. Burbicane fruit, that's awfully close, isn't it? Hellebore petals. How you like that silver? And harpies. Okay. Geralt's gonna take out his silver, I think. And we are going to get hybrid oil on uh, the old silver sword. Get coin up. And hard ready. And there are an awful lot of them up here, are there not? Yep, don't have the stamina foot. There we go. Got one out of the sky there. Yep, Carol's trying to chop his way through a tree to get to it. Don't fall off the cliff, please. Okay, do we did we have we been to this nest before? Yes, I believe we have. Okay. Got more of them. Quinn went down. Hard many more of them. Doesn't work with them, does it? that all of them the combat music has stopped and the skies look relatively clear okay so um let's loot them all whoops what did i just see? did i not see one no it must have been a bird or something monster heart monster heart raw meat harpy feathers pretty great Raw meat. Celandine. Harpy talons, harpy feathers, and there's one up here. Am I going to be able to get at it without falling off the cliff? Yes, I am. Harpy talons and harpy feathers. Okay. Don't remember a nest like this when I came up this mountain originally. Verbena. Herbicane fruit and 
Bring loot. Superior cavalry saddle, really? Mandrake root. That almost uh, making the trip up here worth it. Almost. Not quite. Burbicane fruit. Selenine. More petals. Selendine. Wolf Spain. And a fast travel post. Well, police fruit, if you exist in Skellige, I give up. I just can't find you. Show me what you got. Harpy Talons, Harpy Talons, Monster Claw times two. They're all tripping over something right there. Infuse Shard times two. Monster Blood, Aranaya Eye. Monster Bone, Monster Brain, Aranaya Eye. And Harpy Feathers. Now, you may be thinking to yourself, this doesn't look like somewhere in Velen. In fact, this looks like a very familiar location in Skellige. And in fact, it is. But I didn't expect a storm to brew up before the sun rose. Let's see if we can find something in my inventory here. Letter of safe conduct, mysterious notes. We're looking for something that says poetry, I believe. Okay, it was under quest items. I have a lot of notes in my inventory. When the sun peaks in the skies, seek where shadows end lies. Where light into darkness folds, you'll find treasures untold. Doesn't say anything about a storm ruining that, though, does it? All right, Geralt. Your uh, vitality is a little low. Let's have some very early breakfast and let's wait for the storm to pass. And uh, 
hopefully get some uh, sunshine here. Has the storm ruined our sunrise? I don't know. Is that... Where is the castle shadow? Can I see? It seems to be pointing over there. Um, hmm. There, if I could see the it seems to be pointing at that valley. Now that's where Roan is, correct? Yeah. So we've been there. Is it pointing to this um, little structure? See, the shadow is like right on this peak over here. Um. Do I read that again as if it's going to... Reading it again is going to reveal anything. When the sun peaks in the skies, seek where shadows end lies. Where light into darkness folds you'll find treasures untold. Um, that sure seems like this peak's shadow, does it not? I don't know what other peak that would be. Darkness folds. So that's that peak there. Um, if the sun were a little lower, so it's almost like that peak would be perfectly on Rome. There's treasure in Rhone? Oh, that damn storm just ruined my morning. Alright, this is ridiculous. I'm going to meditate for about 24 hours. <laughs> and this time, we're not going to have a storm ruining my sunset, right? Or sunrise, excuse me. Now is that the moon? Giving us light and the sun. There's no shadow over there right now from this peak, anyway. Alright, Geralt has spent two long cold nights on this damn peak, one during a storm. So now we're actually going to have something revealed, right? Where is its shadow? This peak. Do we have a bright enough sun to make a shadow? The weather report in the upper right says it's clear and says we have a sunrise. I'm not seeing much of a shadow for Geralt. Does the peak have a shadow? It looks like it does, and it looks like it's at the base of that uh, little ridge there. That's what it looks like to me. Yeah, it's definitely... Uh, it's... Alright, so somewhere down there should be where the treasure is. Right, Geralt? I mean, you would think. So we search that ridge line. Alright. Can we snowboard down without getting you killed? I think we can.
think we're even in the shadow of that peak, oddly enough. Okay, I'm not seeing anything obvious. I'm seeing all kinds of wildlife activity, but nothing resembling treasure. What am I hearing? Okay. Um, is it that lake? Is there something in the bottom of that lake? Pond? Whatever it is? Just oh, come on. Traveled, or traveled, snowboarded right into White Wolves. Like I said, um, no farewell to Skellige would be complete. Gonna have another battle with wolves. Let's not get killed during the battle, Geralt. Alright, you ready? Dodging. Have to, to fight them on. you guys, but you didn't give me much of a choice. Went up, Carol. Thank you. Keep me ready, and that one's running away. Okay, that one's really running away, so never mind there. Wolf sliver, dog tallow, raw meat, dog tallow, wolf sliver, dog tallow, raw meat, white wolf hide, dog tallow, wolf sliver, Sliver, dog tallow, putting the sword away, and that's a very strange patch of ground that I will now ignore. Okay, hellebore petals. There's a trail, dead ending. In some oh, isn't that interesting? Okay, I think this is what he was trying to indicate. It's going to have been worthwhile, while, right, Geralt? Colinarius, Puffball, ominous sounding, ominous sounds. Puffball. Water. I'm looking for something a little more than water here. Deer hide, silver ore, goat hide. Yet still not really um, what makes the two day wait worthwhile. Empty bottle. Puffball. Tempted to take cat. Powdered pearl, silver ore, salmian brigandine, pig hide, steel ingot, empty bottle, ashes, 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 I won't say it. Puffball, steel plates. Steel plates. Is that it? I think so. I think that's everything we could have gotten. Is there something I could climb up over here? No. And just to be sure, I'm going to check that little pond. But I think this is what the uh, poem was indicating. Would have been nice if the poem came with uh, a quest so that I could know. Whoops, whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> they just want to say goodbye to me. Oh, they're going to miss me. The feeling is not mutual. Okay. Agroid oil. On the silver sword. 
Dodging right away. Tracking. Okay, nasty thing. Now, are you the only one? Necker heart, necker claw. Oh, were there more of you? Why do I have a corpse up here? Is this just going to be a goat hide? Thought it was going to. It must be the necker killing the goats. All right, Carol. This is probably pointless, but um, let's see if there's anything in this little pond. You probably can't even dive into it. It's probably just a little wading pond. Okay. Nope. The pond was not it. It definitely was the um, cave entrance there. If I am interpreting that little poem properly. Uh -oh. That was it. All right. Seems odd to uh, leave Skellige on that final note of poetry. But uh, let's find a fast travel post, the nearest one. Well, Geralt, we're back in Velen. In a very familiar sight of the Red Baron's Manor, Rose Birch. And I suppose it would be a good moment to have something profound to say about why you chose this spot to come back to in Velen. But the honest truth is, he came back to Rose Birch to get a quest off your quest list.